हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू एक्शर द पब्लिक स्कूल्स इंग्लिश क्लास क्लास एट टुडे वी आर गोइंग थ्रू अप्रोच अ रिट्रीव्ड रिफॉर्मेशन वाज रिटन बाय ओ हेनरी ही वाज बोर्न ऑन सितंबर 11 1862 इन ग्रीन्सबोरो नॉर्थ कैरोलिना यूएस डाइड ऑन जून 5 1910 in New York, New York. He was an American short story writer. His most prolific writing period started in 1902 when he moved to New York City to be near his publishers. His famous books are The Gift of the Magi, A Retrieved Reformation, and Cabbages and Kings, etc. A Retrieved Reformation is one of the thriller novels. There are eight main characters throughout this lesson. The story starts where Mr. Jimmy walked out of the prison. Annabel Adam, Jimmy met her in Elmo City. Ben Brace is a detective who wants to arrest Jimmy. Mr. Adam, Annabel's father, the boy who helped Jimmy to gather information about Annabel, Agatha and May, Annabel's nieces, Agatha and May's mother. Now let us look at the settings. The story starts where Jimmy walked out of the prison. The second setting is in Elmo City where Jimmy met Annabel Adam. The third and final setting is inside Elmo Bank where Agatha was shut in the vault. Now let's look at the theme of the lesson. Here we go through two main themes. One is love. Despite being released from prison at the start of a retrieved reformation, burglar Jimmy Valentine clearly hasn't learned his lesson. An expert at cracking safe, Jimmy quickly returns to a life of crime and continues to rob banks throughout the area. Only after seeing Annabel Adams outside one such bank does Jimmy abandon his criminal ways and upon falling in love with her, ultimately denounce them forever. The second theme is justice. Ben Price's unexpected reaction to Ralph D. Spencer after witnessing Jimmy's reaction in the form of Agatha's rescue. Price pretends not to recognize Jimmy, effectively breaking the law and allowing Jimmy to get away with his crimes. Price's decision to let Jimmy go is not entirely ethical, but this doesn't define him as a whole. Just as Jimmy cannot be defined solely, by his criminality. His kindness and loyalty to others implies that he is an inherently a good person. Now let us look at the problem of this lesson. May accidentally shuts Agatha inside the safe. Panic ensues when Mr. Adams says he didn't set the cloak and has no way of opening the safe. Annabel implores Jimmy to do something, knowing that he is about to expose his true identity and lose her love. Jimmy is ready to help. Let us look at the summary of this lesson. Jimmy arrives in a small town called Elmo. He catches the eye of Annabel Adams the banker's daughter, and falls in love at first sight. Immediately, foregoing his 
old life as a safe cracker, he settles in Elmore under the name of Ralph D. Spencer, opening a shoe shop that soon turns into a profitable business. Over the course of a year, he makes friends and ingratiates himself with Annabel and her family. Two weeks before his wedding to Annabel, Jimmy writes a letter to an old friend named Billy, arranging to give the friend his safe cracking tools. He tells the friend he has given up his old way because of his love for Annabel. Soon after Jimmy sends the letter, Ben Price comes to Elmore. On the morning when Jimmy plans to travel to Little Rock for the day to give the tools to Billy, Jimmy accompanies Annabel and a few of her family members to the Elmo Bank. Mr. Adams shows off the new safe, whose door operates on a cloak release mechanism that can be opened at any other time. While Annabelle's nieces, May and Agatha, are running and playing in the safe. Ben Prezes enters the bank. May accidentally shuts Agatha inside the safe. Panic ensues when Mr. Adam says he didn't set the cloak and has no way of opening the safe. Annabelle implores Jimmy to do something. Knowing that he is about to expose his true identity and lose her love, Jimmy asks Annabelle for the rose she is wearing. He then takes off his jacket, shedding his new identity as Ralph D. Spencer and restarting his old identity as Jimmy Valentine. He opens the safe in 10 minutes. Once Agatha is free, Jimmy walks out of the bank, barely registering when Annabelle and her family call the name Ralph. He greets Ben Price at the door and says he is ready to go to prison because his freedom doesn't matter anymore. Strangely, Ben purports not to know what Jimmy is talking about and acts as if Jimmy is actually Ralph Spencer. Ben then turns around and strolls down the street, leaving Jimmy free to live his new life. Here is a concept map of the lesson, a retrieved reformation. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Thank you.